Moore's Law tells us KQ squared over R, or you can write it as KQ over R squared, or 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R squared. Same thing, but is there an equation analogous for magnetic fields? In other words, if I have, instead of an electric charge, for example, instead of a positive charge or a negative charge, what if I have a current element? What if I have a small piece of wire? All right, I have a small piece of wire, and I want to know the magnetic field it produces. All right, so let's say we have some current element of width dl, okay? And let's say our current element has some current I passing through it. That this wire generates a current of I, can we figure out the magnetic field it produces? As a matter of fact, we can, using the bios of Barth law. So the magnitude of the magnetic field is going to be given by the permeability of free space, which is given by mu naught divided by 4 pi and then we're going to multiply this by the cross product of the current the current with the distance at which you're taking the magnetic field so this distance can be some position vector r so that's going to be the cross product between the current and the position all right folks that's the bias of law that's how you find the magnetic field due to a small current element and we'll see you next time Sponsored by Brilliant.org. The ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding. Oh, excuse me. We believe anyone can learn can anything. Do that? That's why our motto is oh, memorization yeah. is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Philly. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. The first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.